So I have, to, I have to say welcome back, don't I, to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so what people do. Well, welcome back after three years. I started doing YouTube about three years ago and it's only taken me three years, about five lockdowns, and for me to move back to Ireland <laughs> for me to start it again. But I'm gonna do how I curl my hair. People ask me how I curl my hair like on Instagram, but I genuinely am not good with hair. You know, this is like one hair so I can do, I can put it in a ponytail, maybe a plot. So what you need for this tutorial, I love when people tell me at the start of like YouTube videos what we need, so this is what you need for this tutorial. Your own hair, wig, extensions, whatever, I'm gonna pop this in. Use a bit of dry shampoo for volume, hairspray, a brush, and then just a curler. This one is fabulous, it's about 20, 25 euro, really affordable, don't know how to use this thing. This tutorial is idiot proof because if I can do it, you can definitely do it. This is my hair. I don't know about you, but my hair, when I get like, it's such a weird time right now. So when I get a little bit stressed or overwhelmed or whatever, my gut, my belly will bloat and be really sore. And then my hair, so my scalp will get like dry and my hair will literally fall out. So I invested in Olaplex and I've already noticed the difference. This is like my first time I've washed, my first time I've used it. First time I've washed my hair, <laughs> probably is, but this is the first time I've used Olaplex yesterday. Um, and I've already noticed such a difference. Hopefully the hairdressers will be open soon. And I have a few grey hairs as well sent to my hair, so let's not talk about that. We have a special guest speaker. His name is Mount Everest. He just popped up this morning. I put my extensions in. I just section my hair off. So I'm just going to tie this all up in a bobbin. So I just have a little bit like that there. And I just use any brush. You should probably use a backcomb brush. I'm just going to backcomb this at the root because when I click my extensions in, they're not going to slide down my hair. And then you're walking down the street and your extensions are behind you. <laughs> Looks like that. So I'm just going to click this right into the bit I backcombed. Just right at the root. So it's kind of like that there. It's, it's secured in. Like if you were to pull that, they got you covered that back home a bit, you know? I'm going to do pin and curls now. Good luck. I tried to do that before my hair came out all frizzy. I section off another layer and then I'm going to back comb that layer and pop these extensions in again. You're back combing your real hair. <laughs> so notice when I pop these extensions in that I only ever brought them up to here because all the volume, this is all my own hair up here and this is where I want all the volume so I can back comb this. My hair just needs to be done. They're a little bit ratty at the ends and my actual hair is full of split ends. But anyway, we move. Sometimes I'll use a bit of dry shampoo, like say if my hair is either a bit greasy here, there's a bit of volume. So I'll just apply a little bit like that. And then I just rub it in. I always start off by curling this side. I'm gonna back it on about like five or six times, just right at the root. You can see that has a little bit of volume in it now. And I'm going to go in and use my curler. I have it on the highest set and this is the Babyliss curler and you literally just press the on button and I have it up to 210 and I complain about split ends. <laughs> so I'm grabbing this here and I wrap the hair around it. So I'm curling everything away from my face. I'm going to hold this for about eight seconds. And then when the curl comes out, I just hold it in my hand. And then I let it fall like that. So I'm just grabbing random sections. Okay, so now that this side is curled, I'm gonna let it to cool down and then I'll brush it out. So I'm gonna just pop a little bit of hairspray in it and then I'm gonna move on to this side. This is the side that's kind of more important because this is where I'm gonna have the volume up right at the root of it. So I'm gonna section it off into little bits. This would be way easier if you had a comb or a back comb and brush, but this is realistically how I do it. So I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna back comb it right at the root. And I'm gonna grab a middle bit I'm going to back comb it again right at the root. Grab a little bit here. And back comb it again. Just do it basically until, so my extensions are there. You can see that the volume that that's created. Then you can just brush it out on. So I'm going to section this side into two bits. You see there, this is all my real hair. And then this is extensions. So I try and grab a little bit of real hair in with an extension. So then when I curl it, they kind of blend together. Oh, Lise. So, this is my root spray. 
look. I left my curler for a second. Okay, we fixed it, I think. Right, back to my professional hair <laughs> tutorial. Okay, actually it's going really well. I think I checked that though, you know, I could have literally just plastic glued my hair together. We're gonna grab the curl and iron and I'm gonna curl these away from my face. And then I just hold it here for eight seconds and hope the plastic doesn't burn onto my hair. Holy shit. Maybe I should start doing makeup tutorials because I actually know how to do makeup. <gasps> oh my god, who do I think I am doing a hair tutorial? Like, the audacity. To be honest, I'm just kind of grabbing random bits and hoping for the best. take this little bit off that I want the most volume in. I'm just gonna pop it in a little bottom. Really pretty. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do this hair, a little, the curl a little bit higher on this side, just so it's more volume. I'm not normally the shit a curl in my hair, like I'm not amazing, but I don't normally burn plastic every time I do it. I'm gonna do it in three different sections, so I'm just gonna grab this little bit first. I'm just curling that bit away from my face. I'm just separating this into two different bits. Just curl this last bit on top. I'm gonna kind of hold this flat at my head. I want to pop a little bit of hairspray in it now. And the hairspray I use is just Tresemme Five Hold. Now that it's all cool, I'm just gonna brush it out really gently. At the end. Why do I look so sure? Oh, it's because I got off my foot. <laughs> we back tall. Well, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you've learned one or two things of how not to burn plastic when you have a hot iron on. So yeah, if there's anything else you'd like to see on my channel, please do let me know because I'll be sure to film them. So thank you so much for watching.